Good afternoon, this is Bob Iaccino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking FX futures, specifically the yen. The Singapore summit caused a little bit of selling prior to the actual meeting. Some caution ahead of that summit had people getting out of longs. Yen finished down about a half a percent, a little bit lower than a half of a percent today at 90.92. We had some pretty good rallies from 89.61 all the way up to about 91.90 or so. And then the selling took us down uh, a couple of times. There were some people looking for some excess rallies for, to be able to get out of some of those longs they bought off the bottom. That equates to about 111.18 or so in the US dollar versus Japanese yen cash. And that particular rally was sold by a lot of people prior to the summit, weeks prior to the summit, in the, uh, with the news that the summit wasn't going to happen and things were, intentions were gonna get a little higher again. Then the news came out that it was going to happen. Yen rallied a little bit, and now the caution ahead of the summit prompted people to get out of those longs again. Pretty good size day, not a very high volume day, which lets you know that it was long liquidation. We also had Japanese machine tool orders come out at half the rate it came out last month. Came out at over up 14%, but last month was up 22%. So it's a precipitous drop. It's still an increase, which is good. There's been some pretty weak Japanese data coming out lately. And this particular number was weak versus expectations and weak versus last month, not overly weak. Tonight, we've got Japan's tertiary index, which will be the most important thing for the end outside of headlines from the summit. Right now, it seems like the summit is going fairly smoothly. There's nothing negative coming out of any of the uh, news bureaus that something bad's happening. It just seems to be going smoothly. They seem to be getting along. So that tertiary index could move the markets tonight in reference to the yen. And then we've also got what I consider to be more important summits, the FOMC and the ECB this week. And both major central banks are expected to act bullishly relative to their current situations. The Fed is expected to raise rates and leave the possibility for a third rate hike open and talk again about the strength of the U.S. economy, which at this point, there's no real arguing it is the strongest of the G7 countries, given the non-farm payrolls number last week. That could potentially change their tone as CPI comes out tomorrow. But the ECB meeting as well, as we had more than one ECB official talk about getting rid of the QE program, and that discussion was going to start. So what does that mean for the yen? Well, if they're strong, obviously the major trading partners in the cash market is the dollar yen and the euro yen. So if those two strengthen in any way, the yen is what they're likely to strengthen against. This is Bob Iaccino talking about a weak yen from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.